Hello everybody, it is Squidus it is Squidus Nest and today is um day twenty-eight of Inktober and the theme was fall. And to be honest, I didn't put too much effort into this illustration, which is probably why I wasn't that happy with it. So I actually originally didn't like the idea, but then when I started doing it it just felt like it felt a bit plain. So it's basically just a robot who's kind of just fallen from the sky and he's kind of like laying on the ground all bashed up. And that's about all there is to it really. Okay, so this is going to be the shortest narration I've ever had because that's all I had to say and I said it in 37 seconds. Just kidding. Um, but, well yeah, I mean, it was nice enough to draw but I honestly didn't like it that much and I feel like kind of like my progress in Inktober sort of fluctuates so like I started off on a high I think and then let me just flip through and then when I like when I went on camp it kind of wasn't as good for a few days and then I kind of I, I and then I sort of picked it up again but went down again and then it got better and I think I stayed doing really well for quite a while and then and now it's kind of on the fall again because I wasn't too happy about the last one either, like climb. So, I mean, after, after this, there's only three more days left of the challenge. So it's United, Found, and Mask. And you know, I really want to end end the, this whole thing on, on a high. Like, I've learned so many things, so many new, new techniques using ink o over the challenge, and I've really le learned to like, really like the the medium. So. I'm going to start sp spending a bit more effort in tomorrow. I've got no idea what I'm going to do for United yet, so as I say, if, if you have an idea, please tell me. Um, so because I've learned so much from Inktober, I'm thinking I'm going to create my own prompt list and I'll take a break over November just because doing two <clears throat> every day in a month challenges in a row is a bit too much and I'm going to be pretty busy. But over December, I think I'm going to make myself a new, like, a new prompt list and do a new 30 day a new 30 day challenge especially because I'm going to be on holidays for most of that so that's something to look forward to I guess um I it may not be with ink I'm thinking um I used to do a lot of lead pencil work so it probably won't be lead pencil but maybe like color pencil or something or possibly even like watercolor because I've wanted to learn watercolor for a while but like I'm not very good at it a because the materials I've got are pretty bad and um, I just haven't practiced that much. The other thing I've been experimenting with recently is gouache because like the school has a has like a big set of de design designer gouache and I really love using it. So I'm thinking maybe I should buy myself some. Um, and I am actually preparing a video for after October. It'll probably be out within like the first or second week of November. It's actually an artwork for. Um, a school fundraiser kind of thing. Well, I'm hoping it, it will be, but I haven't brought it up with the person who runs it yet because I haven't finished the artwork. But um, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing some topic videos because, like, topic videos are my favourite things to watch on YouTube, like, in terms of art. But, and like, I actually really don't like watching, like, um, drawing time much videos where, like, they just talk about the piece, which is what I do, or when even worse, they just put on music and it's just a time lapse. I don't know, like, I get bored. Unless it's a really, really spectacular illustration and you can see the layers being added, then that's pretty cool. But yeah, my favorite videos are still like where there's like a topic to talk about and you get like advice. My problem with doing these, the reason why I haven't done, I haven't done them for so long, because like I really do want, want to do them, it's because I don't feel like I'm really adequate enough to be giving advice to people because I'm still pretty young as an artist and like I'm not really that experienced but I feel like everybody has their own experiences so maybe I can share some of those and I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing the, be doing the topic on at the moment but I'm going to go along those lines and do something about my experiences as a young artist so and I'm hoping to continue this as well although like I mean these are okay because they're just like 30 minute videos but then when, I, when I'm doing my finished illustrations they're like on a, on a3 paper and like I spend like six to eight hours drawing them so it is actually hard to find time to do the recording and stuff I mean generally it's okay because I bring I carry a sketch pad around with me everywhere I go so but I can't always record on the go so that's a bit of a problem but 
so basically i'm still trying to keep up after inktober i'm still going to try and keep up posting like maybe once a week or once every two weeks just because i mean youtube isn't like a major part of my life at the moment but i know how important it is to upload regularly and speaking of that, like, I really want to try and grow, grow this channel, so I'm going to be slowly making updates to my videos, adding in things like end card, intro sequences, um, I'm saving up to get a better microphone, because, like, I just, I, I actually just record the audio on my, my computer microphone, so that's a bit of a problem as well. I mean, the reason why I don't have such a big following is partially just because my art's a little bit underdeveloped compared to the rest of the YouTube channel. YouTube community and also just because I don't spend a lot of time editing and making sure my videos are perfect and like that's really important for, for YouTube so I gotta do that. Anyway that's about all I've had to say because I didn't really have much to say about the actual drawing I kind of just waffled on for a bit so I hope it was interesting interesting enough. Um, I'll see you in in tomorrow's video. Um, thanks very much for watching you can check out my DeviantArt if you want to see more of my, my illustrations.